Do y'all want to know the best styles for Asian dudes? Check this out. I want you to grab yourself a red flannel, wear some skinny black denim, throw on some gold jewelry, and rock some Air Force Ones. Nobody's rocking this outfit. This fit is going to make you stand out for sure. <laughs> All right, fellas, let's get serious. So anybody can rock these styles, of course. These styles are just off my experience, which means it's fact. And so these are the best styles for Asian dudes. So we're not gonna be touching on classic men's wear because all dudes look great in that. That's a given. So we're going to be talking about casual everyday wear. So the first style Asian dudes look great in is the soft boy look. Just think super cozy and chill, a fit you wanna relax in. So I'd say when it comes to this fashion style, this is like the japan interior design style, but for fashion. And by the way, if you like this, aesthetic, you're probably going to like this interior design style as well. This fit is going to give you a friendly casual look. Sizing wise, you're going to see a lot of oversized pieces. Keep an eye out for a drop shoulder cut. That's this stitching right here. It's dropped rather than being right at the typical shoulder area. And this is going to be a theme going forward, oversized relaxed fit. And so when it comes to this style, skinny and slim fit, it's out the door. But like with any aesthetic, there is a default uniform to keep an eye out for, which is a good base to start off with. It usually consists of a crew neck or a knitted sweater. If it's the springtime, probably a knitted vest over a white t-shirt. And then you got some wide fit trousers, a ton of jewelry, and you probably got a tote bag with the middle part haircut. If you're rocking headwear, there's probably some AirPods Maxes on them. It's a cozy fit. I think it looks good. So color wise, just like the Japandi style, you're going to want to stick to the warmer tones. So you got the creams, tans, and browns, and it's mixed with some gray and black. You can can go pastel if you want. I think it looks great for the springtime, but as a good rule of thumb, stick to the warmer tones. This style does have a lot of textures going on as well. Think knitted sweaters and headwear, corduroy, pleated details, and some accessories you'll see with this style is of course the tote bag. Bit cheesy nowadays, but who cares? It's practical. And you're not gonna see a lot of stacked jewelry, but what you will see is eyewear and minimal jewelry. Now, obviously this is a guideline. I would encourage you to add your own twist to it. Honestly, we all probably rock this style without having to think about it because this is just like your running errands type of fit. So yeah, we started off with this aesthetic because a lot of the pieces that make up this fashion style can be integrated into the other aesthetics later on in this video. And y'all might be wondering where to get all these cool pieces from. Well, let me tell you about one of my favorites, which is Bai Yi, the sponsor of today's video. This is going to change your shopping game, I promise. So Bai Yi is a proxy shipping service, which through them, you can shop their flea markets, Yahoo auctions to Macari. They are partnering with me on this video, but I use this service myself. Wish me luck on these acronym P23s. Anyway, so how this works is the products that you buy will be shipped to their warehouse in Japan, of course. And from there, you can consolidate all of your purchases to be shipped to you at once. So ideally, you probably want to buy multiple pieces so you don't have to pay multiple shipping fees. So I'd recommend buying a few pieces or doing a haul or helping out one of your boys that needs some J fashion. And that way you get one package shipped to you. So you're going to see later on in this video that I got two pieces from Isimiyaki. And these pieces were much more affordable than you can get over here. So you shop clothing, you shop anime stuff, watches is anything really, I would highly recommend using this service. And as of the recording of this video, the Japanese currency conversion is pretty solid. So things are a bit cheaper than if you buy it here in the West. And a lot of sizing fits better for the short kings. So all you have to do is click that first link down in the description and you're going to get a 10% off coupon just for signing up. And you're going to be helping me out by supporting the channel. So once again, click that first link in the description to get a 10% off coupon and have fun shopping. There's a lot of good stuff on there. Thank you, Baiyi, for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Now, how about we juxtapose this style with the complete opposites, which I would say is tech wear. I think Asian dudes kill it with this style. So first off, I'm gonna play you this clip from Acronym. It's a lookbook from spring 2017. Check this out. Yeah, not gonna lie, man. After watching that, I feel like just hacking into a server or something. Okay, so let's go check out the prices on these. Okay, so believe it or not, this style is timeless. This is like the AK video fashion. It's future proof. So yeah, this style focuses on form and functionality and it just looks badass. Acronym is what you're going to think of with this fashion style. It's designer Earlson Hugh, who does have a martial arts background, incorporates a lot of movement from a traditional gi into his garment. And just that whole mindset of being practical and easy to move in is just the philosophy of this style. And so what you want to look for with this style is garment technology, which just think of it as performance. Anything that adds ventilation, 
breathability, water repellency, stretchiness, double zips, modularity. You're also going to see a lot of military inspiration with this style, which is also what makes it timeless as well. And yeah, I don't want to give you a whole ass lecture about this. So let me just give you the standard look that you're going to see. Running sneakers are a staple with this style, especially for the summertime. And then you got boots for the wintertime and water repellency isn't everything. It is a great feature, but check out these cargoes. It has modular pockets. You can adjust the cuff. And of course it's water repellent. And these ones right here have a dedicated foam pocket and a shitload of pockets in general. And that's what you're going to want to look for. You'll also see a lot of these types of jackets for inclement weather. And finally, these fits are typically topped off with the sling bag. And that right there is your typical look, a tech ninja type of look. So when you're first starting off, I would recommend just sticking to the Uniqlo U Block Tech Parka. It's an affordable jacket that has a minimal look. It has a lot of functionality to it, and it goes well with this aesthetic. Plus, it is a great start to see if you even actually like this fashion style. Now, some other brands to check out are Rosen X, Traject by Idol Ido, and other outdoor brands you might think of like Arcteryx, which by the way, Arcteryx actually consulted with Acronym for their Valence brand. So a lot of your favorite brands are actually inspired by Acronym as well. Now, color wise, this is the easiest part of this style. You want to stick to black, olive green, and sometimes tan. That's really all you got to worry about. So there are some more colorful options, but mostly you want to stick with these colors. And if you're not into that tech ninja look, there are subdivisions within tech wear. You got Gorbcore, Gray Man. I think there's something for everyone. So yeah, as you can tell, this is one of my favorite styles out there. It can get expensive, but there's also a lot of affordable options as well. I think if anything, it's just practical. Now the next style up, any dude's going to look great in just because it's so timeless and it's more wearable on the daily. And that is of course the minimal style. Less is more with this fashion style, although, all the people that I know that actually like this style have a huge wardrobe, so it's kind of ironic. I just find it funny. But anyways, you're going to be bringing in a lot of these soft boy pieces into this style. So here's a uniform right here. Some form of wide fit or slim fit trousers, depends on you. A tank top, a minimal overshirt with a collar, and probably some white sneakers or black boots. That's what I think of with this fashion style. It can stray more casual. It can also stray more formal. Just depends on you, of course. Now, you can argue that the soft boy aesthetic is a part of this fashion style. You got a lot of the same fundamentals. Crew Necks, trousers, fitted and oversized t-shirts. But what you'll see a lot with the minimal style are pieces with collars. So think minimal overshirts and blazers and all that. Just think of anything that is versatile and will mix with a lot of different pieces. So yeah, because your mindset is about versatility, that's why you'll see a lot of white sneakers and black boots with this style. So I would pick up a few of those and some good quality ones as well. And honestly, I'm telling you, just stick to the grayscale spectrum. A lot of people complicate it, man. If you focus on grayscale at first, this will allow you to focus on just the basics. You got sizing, layering, proportions. And once you nail those down, then the colors can come in easily. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys understand the style already, so let's keep it moving. Our final style is just a culmination of everything, which I'm just going to label Asian streetwear. There are going to be some pieces to look out for though. This style incorporates a lot of Asian garments, like a Mandarin collar shirt or a stand collar, Noragi style jackets, etc. And it also has a bunch of layers. So here's what to invest in with this look. The oversized button up or a stand collar button up, will do you wonders. And especially the stand collar because it kind of looks like a Mandarin collar shirt, which is just a part of our heritage. And these can be layered in so many ways. You would think a button up can only be paired with trousers no, because of the oversized fits and how casual it is, yes, you can still pair it with trousers, but you can pair it with parachute pants, cargo pants, it's much more chill. And that's what also makes up a lot of this style as well, baggy pants and trousers, cargo pants. Now, one of the most popular pants you see with this style are parachute pants, and I love these ones right here from Needles. I think that sizing is worth trying out just to see if you actually like that sizing, and then you could dial it back if it's too far for you. And yeah, like I said earlier, layering versatility is a huge part of this style. And one thing you'll notice with this style is extending length garments. So think of extended button ups, extended blazers, long coats. Perfect word to describe this is drape. And you can incorporate drape with extended belts, coats, scarves, longer dress shirts, or even unique style bandanas. But even clipping your keys to your belt loop will do the trick. This will make up the bulk of the style along with wide fit pants. Now that's just a general description, but I think it's a great place to start at. And here's another trick with this fashion style that I really like doing. Cuff your sleeves. This is already an underrated look. I don't know why guys, more guys don't do this, but this will showcase your forearms, any tattoos, jewelry. And when you do this with a white dress shirt and a coat, that white just pokes out and it just really adds to the look in my opinion. Now, some brands to look out for are the ones I mentioned earlier. 
Traject by Idol Idol, Rosen X, but you also got Fundamental Denim, Y3, or just anything from Yoji Yamamoto. He does have other affordable brands like Ground Y and Sight, and you've got Issey Miyake, of course, Undercover, Neighborhood. This is a very versatile style, and it's also a very subjective style. But honestly, I think your face will do a lot of the work. So yeah, those are my favorite styles I see on Asian dudes. I'd say try them all out and get comfortable with your personal style, and then you can start mixing and matching everything. And yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, found it helpful, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up, and until then, stay fly, deuces.